My name is Ovid. How did I, a nice boy from small town Rome, end up in trouble with the brutal emperor? After years of civil war, the newly anointed Emperor Augustus had finally brought peace to the Roman Empire. Congratulations, sir. It was during this time I was born. This is Rome, man. It's a great city. It's got great nightlife, great poets, and whoa, the women. That's why they call it the city that never sleeps, you know what I'm saying? Because everyone's having sex. What up, dog? all the what up, this cat coming up next earned his stripes up here. He is without question our most popular poet. If you wanted to find a lover, where would you go? Anyone in this crowd who does not know the art of lovemaking, let him hear my magic formula. It sounds a bit heretical. <laughs> There's unrest in the camp. People are starving and out of work. I understand that. There's a young poet of increasing popularity named Ovid. Then what do we do now? We need to remind them what their country stands for. We give them values. I was preparing to tell about violent war and serious meter. But all lovers are soldiers. What do you know about Augustus' granddaughter? She's connected to some sort of political opposition. You're the practical poet. You've heard of Augustus' moral reforms. People are organizing. There could be violence. Everybody is so bent out about politics these days. Augustus is trying to consolidate power. This isn't a monarchy or a dictatorship. How do we keep control? We may be suffering, but we have our values. <gasps> this will mean death. You may be in real trouble with the government. Bring him in. Avi. 